We're going to begin today in Georgia to meet a quarterback whose name is a perfect match with his talent on the gridiron. That's this week's five-star feature. Sometimes an athlete's name is just too perfect for their sport, like a baseball player named Homer or a basketball player named Troy. In the far northeast part of Georgia, near the North and South Carolina borders, Raven County High School has a quarterback with the perfect name. Meet Gunnar Stockton. His arm is second to none, and uh, he can make every throw on the football field. There's actually some interesting history behind his name, and it has nothing to do with sports. He's named after his great-grandfather, who served in the Army in World War II. The circle of life happened around Gunner. When he was being born, my grandfather had just had passed away. My grandfather's name literally is V period D period Stockton, and he was known as V.D. Stockton. He was the, um, the district attorney here for 30 years, and, um, but his first name is V.D. Well, we knew for sure we weren't going to call him V.D. He was a gunner in the Army, and uh, his plane got shot down, and there's an article. He ended up uh, saving it. And, they called him Gunner Stockton. They referred to him as Gunner Stockton in the article. There was an article written, and in it, it referred to the airman as Airman Smith, and it referred to him as Gunner Stockton through the whole article. And my wife actually said, that's the way we can, we can, that'll be the family name, the way we pass it on to him. So he became Gunner Stockton. We spell it G-U-N-N-E-R. Gunner's family has quite a bit of history in this area. His grandfather played a big role in the construction of the facilities at Rabin County High School that Gunner and his classmates now enjoy. My father was uh, on the Board of Education here for a long time and um, was very instrumental in getting the football stadium, the fine arts facility, the gym, all the new facilities we've got. His family remains quite invested in the Rabin County community. His mom is a school guidance counselor. His father is a football team's defensive coordinator and Gunner is 100% focused on bringing the Wildcats a championship. I feel like I'm really tough, um, just an ultimate competitor. I, I hate to be like outward and the ultimate teammate, just being good to everybody. Gunner, is, his leadership is, I, I think it's the most special kind of leadership. He's not a, a rah-rah guy. People are naturally drawn to him. They know who he is. He doesn't try to be anybody he's not. He played with the varsity, he didn't get to play varsity football, but he practiced and played JV football as an eighth grader. So this is his fifth year, and he has never missed a workout, a practice, a meeting, of course, a game. I mean, nothing. I think I couldn't ask anything more of our quarterback, anything more of our captain, a leader of our team. He wants the best for Raven County. He loves Raven County. He is laser focused on what we've got going on right now, and I couldn't be more pleased as a head coach. I think the number one thing, he wants to win. That overrides everything and wants to win. It doesn't matter how, just win. Just won a state championship. My dad's in D.C. for, I think, 14 years. I mean, I've been a ball boy ever since then and just growing up. I mean, that's all I wanted to do. Gunner was previously a South Carolina commit, but after the Gamecocks made a coaching change, Gunner reconnected with the staff at Georgia, which had previously recruited him, and he is now committed to the Bulldogs. Coach Smart's always been good in our relationship. After I decommitted and everything and talking, it was like nothing ever happened. He was always there, and uh, I just felt really good about it. Gunner won't say much more than that about his future, though, as he remains hyper-focused on making his family proud and leaving his own legacy at this school. We are so focused on winning a state championship as a, as a family. I mean, Gunner doesn't want to even talk much about anything other than what he's going to do for this team that he's on right now. December 16th or 15th, whenever the state championship game is, we plan on playing that day. And when that game's over, he'll probably shift gears and be ready for Athens. Right now, I want to win a state championship. And then after, I've always wanted to win a national championship. A place like Georgia always going to have a chance to win a national championship. But uh, I mean, anywhere you go, you can't, you can't run from competition. So uh, I'm looking forward to competing and having fun. Well, I think the, the biggest thing, and me and Gunnar's talked about it a lot, set your own ceiling, you know, not trying to be this player or that player or whoever, be the best Gunnar Stockton there is. And I think that's something we've talked about since his freshman year uh, and seeing the, 
potential that he has as far as a player and a person and what he stands for. And I think that's what makes Gunner so unique. Going back to that, he's laser focused. He wants to be the best Gunner Stockton there is and be the best person, be the best quarterback that he can be. And I think as long as he keeps doing that, he's got such a bright future. I can't wait to watch it. As committed as he is to his craft, Gunner Stockton could one day be a name that people know far beyond the borders of Raven County. Thanks for checking out Sports Stars of Tomorrow on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and please subscribe to our channel so you see all of the latest content.